the Bearer Peninsula. A quiet and idyllic corner of Ireland. In the early 1600s, however, war, slaughter, blood and brutality plunge this land into chaos. The one man central to it all, and with a hefty price on his head, was Donald Cam O'Sullivan Bear. Arguably, one of the greatest Irishmen you've probably never heard of. In the summer of 1602, the Bear Peninsula was on upheaval. After the miraculous victory at Kinsale, the Crown's forces were looking to stamp out what was left of the Gaelic army. Donald Cam O'Sullivan Bear posed quite a threat as he had about 2,000 men and had ties to Spain. I'm here at Dunboy Castle where in 1602 there was a huge siege to take control of this area. This siege was bloody, it was brutal and it eventually led to a massacre even beyond these walls. George Carew was the man put in charge to subdue the remnants of Gaelic resistance in the Bear Peninsula. O'Sullivan Bear's Dunboy Castle was to be his number one target. Due to its location, the castle was seen as impregnable, but it didn't deter Carew. He set up his base just across the water on Bear Island. From here, he could easily have started the bombardment. Instead, he tactically manoeuvred his forces, cutting off Dunboy from the mainland. This ensured no escape for any survivors. Not long after the heavy bombardment, the walls fell. Once the Crown's forces broke in, it was bloody, it was brutal, it was dark, it was hand to hand, it was rough, it was lethal. A few brave survivors managed to lock themselves here in the cellar for one last standoff. In a last ditch attempt, the man O'Sullivan Bear set in charge tried to light the remaining gunpowder stores and blow the whole place up, but in the last few seconds he was chopped to pieces. With the siege won, Carew made quick work of any survivors. All were executed to the last man. As for Dunboy itself, he ordered the castle be destroyed and torn down. Using the defenders own gunpowder, all that is left of the castle now is the shell of the cellar and the plaques commemorating those that fell. Sadly, the slaughter wasn't over just yet, as the poor people on Dursey Island found out. With Dunboy Castle taken, the massacre soon followed here on Dursey Island. O'Sullivan Bear left 300 of his people, women, old people and children in the safety of this island hoping that it would give them some refuge. The Crown's forces found them, came here and with the people already inhabited on this island slaughtered every single one of them. Women were tied together and fired off cliffs like this. Infants impaled on swords. The bloodlet knew no end. The shell of this castle is a chilling reminder of what this was. It wasn't just war. It was annihilation and extermination. One culture against another culture. Irish versus English. Now I've been using the Crown forces because they were the forces fighting for the Crown. But it's not as simple as that. Because Irish people fought on the side of the Crown also. I'm following in the footsteps of Donald Cam O'Sullivan's epic march up to Leitrim. Please subscribe and join me as I walk and talk about the unbelievable events of that winter in 1603. Also, don't forget to click the bell to get your notifications of all my new videos. Thank you and take care.